Hey guys, Plasma1945 going back to the North Cape, except now we're in a Tomcat. This game was one of the last great sims of the non-3D era. That's right, this is from Microprose and this is the F-14 Fleet Defender. It has an incredibly detailed campaign, lots of customization and mission planning, and came out in 1994. You can adjust the difficulty for everything. You can connect your Thrustmaster FCS and your Warthog to this game, and you can fly it. You can map all of the bindings and get pretty crazy. Each mission has a detailed briefing, and there's an ongoing battle happening in the background of your mission. You can adjust a whole whack of settings, including you know your squadron, where you're flying, what you're doing, um, your region and location. Once you get to the briefing, you get a fairly detailed briefing. So here we have to take out a series of TU-16 Badgers before they can fire their anti-ship missiles so that our carrier is safe. We've got our weather, we've got our overcast status that, hey, it's gonna be a little cloudy. We've got roles of all the pilots, a map, and we can also choose and see details of your carrier, your player, which way you're flying, where the targets are, other aircraft that are going to be operating in the region. So tons and tons of information. So here, as you can see, there is uh, F-16s doing strikes. There are Vigans doing additional air to ground attacks and even some blue MiG 21s and a P-3 way out to the back there. So lots of information, lots of planning and all of these things can affect how you're gonna fly your mission and if you're gonna be successful or not. And we're not even in the cockpit yet, guys. All right, well, let's go and arm up and uh, we can have a number of different loadouts. If you can see in the top right-hand corner there of the screen, it shows you different weapon loadouts. I don't wanna take all Phoenixes. I'm gonna get us some sort of a mix here. I don't want all Sparrows, but this looks pretty good. Four Phoenixes, two Sparrows, two Sidewinders. I'm okay with that. That works for Growling Sidewinder. You can choose your Wingman as well. And we're gonna go for takeoff. Now, surprisingly, I installed this just to see how Northgate was represented and I ended up flying for a whole hour. I won't subject you to flying for a whole hour. I'll fast forward through the boring ingress, but you'll be very surprised by the level of customization here. So I figured if I press plus all the way up, I'll get uh, velocity and remove brakes. And guess what? I took off. The same keybinds that uh, worked in the F117 that I am fairly familiar with worked out here. Pressed G to raise the gear and I am airborne. Everything is fairly straightforward. And the other interesting thing here is panning around the cockpit actually provides additional information. So as you can see here, I can see my compass, my fuel indication. I've also got my RPMs and a whole bunch of other details as well. There you go, I accidentally pressed F to pop a flare because I figured my flaps would be down and um, well, F, flare, right, makes sense. Also, you've got a damage control panel on the right-hand side, which will light up based on the damage that you take. Very detailed cockpit for 1994. Really a revolutionary jump, but it is still pictures, so it's not actually 3D, or it's very basic 3D. So switching through weapons, we've got guns, we've got sparrows, and we've got four phoenixes. All right, so accelerating and climbing. Let's try to go through the cloud deck and see how the graphics look in that uh, scenario, there you go, pushing through 14. Cloud deck, I think, was around 15 to 16. And up, up, and away we go in the clouds. And here comes the blue sky. All right, we're through the first set of clouds, and we are now flying around. You can actually get external views. Not too shabby, but, uh, oh, and did you see that? Had some negative Gs there. We had a little bit of red. All right, Rio seat. Yes, you can be a Rio of your aircraft. I'm really familiar with this Rio job, so piece of cake, right? The radar is sweeping. My range is set out to 200 miles. I'm not going to lock anything up here, but let's get a little bit closer to these targets. See, it says targets out of range as I try to click using my mouse to try to lock up those um, unknown contacts. 
it's just a matter of time. Just got to get a little closer to them, and uh, I'll see what happens there. Now, here's a question: Do you think there is the bucket, i.e., the um, TID down below? Well, let's take a look. And guess what? There is a TID set to a hundred uh, mile range, and there's the actual switch that's set right to it. Really awesome level of detail. All right. Well, I'm not going to pick up anything here. I have to get closer to those targets. So I'll probably should accelerate. Let's give it more thrust. And gets reflected on the screen here. I've probably got my flaps down. 23,000 feet. Well, let's get to these targets. All right, we've closed the distance some. And we do have some hostiles. So I'm back in the Rio seat. Let's try to get a lock. There we go. Got a lock and a track. Push IFF to IFF, confirmed hostile, just like in DCS, guys. All right, let's go for a missile launch. This guy looks to be about 95 miles or so based on the DDD. I've got a blink on the right-hand side. I do have a diamond, so we do have a good lock. On the bottom, it says that a friendly Viggen got hit by a name 7. Interesting. Some uh, blue on blue action, perhaps. Let's wait for parameters and uh, take our shot here. Now, I couldn't quite remember at what range I could launch, and I'm just looking at the brackets. And Fox 3, there goes a Phoenix. And we do have external views. That's pretty awesome. Phoenix is climbing up to 29,000 and 640 knots. So we're accelerating time here because I didn't want to make you guys wait for five minutes while that Phoenix was flying towards its target. You can see it's tiny dot as it closes in on a target. Well, and what do we have here? Let's bring it back to real time. Boom. TU-95 Delta hit by AIM-54. All right. Well, we've got our first splash. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tomcat. All right. Let's go find some more targets. I'm going to speed this up again, and we'll get a couple more launches off. All right, additional hostiles, and I'm being pinged. These guys are much closer now. They're uh, 70 miles away on the nose. And I've got a whole bunch of them on my nose here. So my goal was to take out the TU-16 Badgers, not to do uh, MIG cap. So it looks like there is an enemy aircraft, and uh, based on the TID, it was on the left-hand side, so that must be the uh, must be the bombers. Let's turn in on those guys and take a shot on them. All right, we've got a good closure. We've got a notification that we're ready to shoot. Going to pitch up and send a Fox 3 AIM-54 at this target on my nose now. He's a heck of a lot closer. And missile on its way, and there's some negative Gs as I sent that missile away. And for some reason, my wingman decided to fly right in front of me. And again, that's simulation for you guys because I pitched up, the wingman didn't keep up, so uh, he ended up flying in front of me. All right, let's watch this missile and uh, see what it hits. All right, the camera is on the M54. Much closer range shot. Oh, there's two of them there. Here's our target. And that kind of looked like a bomber. Well, it says it was a TU-16, so we'll take it. All right, second target, let's lock him up. We saw as the missile flew by that there was two of them. This guy's at about 25 miles. Let's switch to sparrows. And there's our firing cue on the right side of the HUD. We're waiting for the carrot to get within the two lines there. And we'll go for another Fox 1 launch. There we go, we've got our shoot cue. Let's be a little bit more comfortable. We know it's a bomber, he's gonna be slow, but let's not screw this up, give it a little more gas. We're at Mach 1.38. Holy crap, we're hauling ass up here. All right, there he is. About 17 miles now, Fox 1 has been sent, and it's on its way. Tracking pretty good. Good airspeed at the south of the two. And tracking the hostile. All right, there's another badger. Splash badger and a little animation down below. 
Very cool. All right. Apparently, Mario said that uh, my nose swept across a uh, swept across a uh, friendly. Go figure. All right. We've locked up another target. This time at 20 miles. It's definitely maneuvering. Fox one. What do we got this time? Nice little smoke trail. And the missile is tracking something. Plenty of speed on it. Tiny little speck. I mean, you guys, gotta remember this was all done without proper 3D graphics. They're kind. They're they're simulated 3D. Think Doom. Kind of looks like 3D, but it's not quite 3D. So, all this computation, all this graphics is very impressive. This is 1994. This is before Windows 95, guys. And there we go. Splash. Make 29 with an Aim 7 Sparrow. All right, another successful hit. All right, we're down on the deck here. Fast forward through the boring stuff. My Sidewinder is not locking. I think I have to uncage it or do something. It's seeking, but no. And friendly takes out the enemy fighter on my nose. Very cool. All right, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. This was the F-14 Fleet Defender. And uh, instead of recalibrating my joystick, I'm just going to uh, abort the mission. Let's see if we get a debriefing. Just like in the F-117 from Microprose, nice detailed debrief. There's our takeoffs. There's some Vigans doing, uh, I think the friendly shot down, friendlies down there. The T-95 got splashed. And there is the Badger and the MiG-29s that all got splashed. A lot of, uh, a lot of air combat over there, over the uh, North Cape. And not just my missiles, but also the uh, enemy aircraft. All their missiles are also being tracked. Looks like F-16s landed. And Nimitz sustained no damage. Carrier survived had one of one had to survive. You failed to adequately defend our battle group against the surprise attack. Uh, the damage to our forces caused by the raid was reportedly considerable. All right, well, I'm going to retire from flying the F-14 Fleet Defender. If you guys want to give it a go, check it out on Steam. It installs and runs properly. Plasma 1945 out.